Hey. Keep to your damn self. Calm down. Partner? Welcome to our fair city! Citizens, enjoy yourselves! Visitors, amuse yourselves! We are a simple mountain town for people who believe in a better, wiser, kinder America. So up now. Yeah. <laughs> always rely on your horse. Idiot. Hey, Arthur. Good to see you. Why? You want rescuing again, do you? <laughs> no. I got a plan to make it up to you. A oh, plan like the Blackwater Ferry job, or like you going off scouting and ending up in jail? <laughs> Dutch said you was a, a big shadow cast by a tiny tree. I don't even know what that means. Mm, I thought you was a tough boy. <laughs> Not one of those gentlemen. <laughs> Trying to protect his riding clothes. Well, I just know whenever things get real, you turn yellow, lose your head. Yellow? Sure seems that way. So I guess you won't be riding with me to rob the banking coach comes about this time in the strawberry. I heard one of the O'Driscoll boys yapping about it while I was inside. You and me? Do a robbery? That's what I said, didn't I? After you. <laughs> Come on. I know an overlook where we can watch for them coming in. What are you doing anyway? Camping out here. 
here like some crazy hermit? Can't exactly stay in town now, can I? And like I told you, I ain't going back to Dodge without a peace offering. So what's the deal with this coach? What do you mean? Comes through about this time every day, like I said, the end. I mean, how many men, guns, riders? Nothing serious. It'll be fine. I heard the bank's been hiring every trigger man they can get of late. The meaner, the better. You worry too much. Forgive me if I ain't wholly faithful in something an old Driscoll told you when you was half drunk in a jail cell. He kept yapping about it, saying how they've been hitting it on the regular. That's a good lead in my book. Damn old Triscolls are everywhere now. The bastards got a hold of most of Big Valley. Heard they took over some big ranch north of here. How the hell you and Lenny end up down here, anyway? Oh, you know how it is? A few loose ends, drink here, drink there. What loose ends? Nothing that needs to concern you. I always pay my share. It concerns me when you put us in danger and we don't realize till it's too late. Like that move you pulled at Strawberry. Making me kill half the town just for your precious guns. Precious they are. You need to roll a little looser, Morgan. Looser? I seen you come full undone more than once now, and you only been running with us a few months. Are we gonna rob this coach or bicker about it? What's done is done. Guess we're robbing it. Then let's do it. this ridge. He should be here in a little bit, old tide. Which way will they be coming in? Should be from over there. We need to hit them fast before they get into town. Just don't lose your head this time. Of course, tough guy. <sighs> they should be here. Any minute. Look, there they are. Right on time. Get cut off. Gone. <laughs> right. Yeah. covered now. It's just you and me, sweetheart. I'll give it to them. They put up half a fight at least. Yeah! Here you go, Arthur. 
From me to you, that's more your style than mine. Since when did you have a problem killing old Driscoll? Huh, huh. You've got a point. Let's strip this coach, then. It clearly ain't going nowhere now. You know, we should really pick up a lock breaker one of these days. Save ourselves some bullets. Yeah, because saving bullets is such a concern of yours. what we can and get the hell out of here. That lock should shoot off easy enough. I'll give you the honors. On account of... Well, that should do it. Come on, let's see if all this was worth All I see is you, me, a river full of dead O'Driscolls, and a lockbox. 
I'd say we're golden here, Morgan. Look at that. <laughs> What's the cut here? It's good. Make sure the gang gets its peace. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, big shadow. Tiny tree. And like I said, <laughs> that still don't mean nothing. Now get out of here. Go see Dutch. Make sure you ain't followed. I know, boss. I know. It's been fun! Hey, mister. I just want to be left alone, all right? The sentiment I'm familiar with. Fair enough, kid. Strutting around. Your nose in the air. Holding hands with that dumb. Come on, kid. You expect to win this girl with all your belly aching? Be a man, son. Hey, I'm plenty man, thank you very much. Trust me, kid. There ain't so many good men out there. Make yourself one of the good ones. Thanks, mister. I hope you're right.
that's my boy. Trying to get these supplies to the federal building. It's on the knee. Federal ain't got no authority here. We'll be taking. Coming in. Look what the contract in. Whatever you damn well please, man, I tell you, if I don't get out of here soon, I'm gonna kill somebody. And if you don't stop hissing at me, I'm gonna kill you. You come near me, sailor, and I'll slice you up. You put that knife down, or you're gonna be missing a hand, lady. What is wrong with you two? I ain't chopping vegetables for a living. Oh, I'm sorry, madam. Was there insufficient feathers in your pillow? I ain't lazy, Mr. Morgan. I'll work, but not this. Well, I ain't cooking work. My husband and I, we shared the work. All of it. I was out in the fields. I can hunt, carry a knife, or use a gun. But I tell you, you keep me here, I'll skin this fat old coot and serve him for dinner! Watch your damn mouth, you crazy goddamn fishwife! <laughs> Enough! Both of you! Well, come with me, then. You wanna head out there? Run with the man? So be it. But we do more than just hunting. We're hunted. And them things hunting us, well, they got guns of their own. I ain't afraid of dying. Good. You need anything, Mr. Pearson? Maybe me and Mrs. Adler are gonna take a little ride. Yeah, sure. Here's my list, and can you post this letter for me while you're there? Sure. Come on, princess. Are you coming with me, that woman? Is 
So I've graduated from chopping vegetables to shopping. Shut your goddamn mouth. You cool down then yet? I guess. Now, I ain't no scullion, and I sure as hell ain't taking orders from that sweat halfwit. I guess we all gotta do our share, Princess. <laughs> Where's that letter? Are well, you reading his mail now? Oh, robbing and killing's okay, but letter reading's where we draw the line. Mm. <clears throat> Here. <clears throat> Dear Aunt Kathy, you are something else. I haven't heard from you in some time, so I pray to the Lord above that your health has not deteriorated further. Blah, blah, blah. It's boring. Ooh. <laughs> Wait a sec. Listen to this. Since we last corresponded, I have traveled widely, making no small name for myself. <laughs> Before you ask, I am still yet to take a wife, but I can assure you it's not for a lack of suitors. <laughs> he ever actually even talked to a woman he ain't paid for? Oh, look. We're all hiding behind something. <laughs> and what's this? Return to Tacitus Kilgore. Oh, that. Now that's Dutch's idea. All male be sent to the same alien. Whatever we set up somewhere new, Strauss, he heads into town. Tells him to start expecting mail from a Tacitus Kilgore, whatever they changed it to. <sighs> Here, give me that back. We got work to do. What's the plan? I shoot the shopkeeper while well, you... No! Are you insane? I thought we was outlaws. Outlaws. Not idiots. We rob fools that rob other people. These people, they're just trying to get by. So you head on in there, you buy some food to eat. And no guns. You're sure? This time, there'll be time for killing soon enough. What are you doing? I'm gonna go check the mail. Nothing exciting. help you, mister? Yes, I would like to post a letter. All right. Okay, no trouble. Thank you. Bye now. Hello there. Help you well. For the smile. Christ! Oh, dear. Careful there. Trying. Try harder. I think this is everything. Thanks. Here, take that for yourself, okay? Thanks. Well, give it back then. Jesus. I didn't ask for his goddamn help. Why don't you drive? Okay. Come on, lady, get a move on. I like Sadie, not lady. I know. So, you get everything? I think so. And some uh, new clothes, I see. Don't start. I can wear what I damn well want. Like I told you, my husband and I What's shared all the work. I wasn't some little wife with a flower in her hair baking cherry pies all day. Yeah, I don't doubt that. 
You sure look the part now. Won't be long before you're smoking cigars and playing the harmonica. I'll have you know, I used to love playing the harmonica before. Well, my house and everything I own got burned to the ground. I know. I'm real sorry about what you, uh, you know. Maybe I'll keep my eye out for another one. I don't want no pity. Just treat me equal and no. Nobody's taking nothing from me ever again. Mm-hmm. Just don't kill the camp cook. Hey there! Hey. What, uh... What you folks up to? Just heading home. You're in the Morn Raider country. Keep it cool. Steve. You need to pay a toll to pass through here. No, I don't think so. You don't think so? How about you pull over right now? Pull over? That's what I said. Hey! How's about this? No! Oh. Go, go, go! God! Reigns here. Why? Because you've caused enough trouble already. I'm fine. Careful! We showed those bastards, huh? Remind me not to get on your bad side. Never gonna get there in this place. And they was clearly planning to bushwhack us. You did good. But that's a lot of mess to make near camp. Hope it don't bring anyone sniffing around. Are you gonna tell Dutch? Maybe. If he asks. But... Maybe not. So who do they say they were? Lemoyne Raiders? Yeah, something like that. Who knows? Anyway... Don't you go ribbing Pearson about that letter. How dare you? I wouldn't dream of it. Right, you wouldn't. I have traveled widely, making no small name for myself. I won't be giving you no mail to post anytime soon, that's for sure. <laughs> I just want to peek in that journal of yours. The mind boggles. Can't you go any faster? <laughs> Not a chance. There we go. Hey, watch it! Of the pace here. Careful now. Easy, you're all right. Yep. yourself killed then, Miss Adler. Not quite. <laughs> well, I'd like to say I missed your refined conversations, but I'd be lying. I... I enjoyed myself out there. Yes, we, uh... Mrs. Adler did okay. At shopping? Yes, at shopping. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Don't mention it. 
I would ride with you again, Mrs. Adler, if you will ride with me. Maybe. <laughs> if you prove you can handle yourself. Well, they say I lack finesse, but I ain't afraid of gun smoke. <laughs> oh, we got this, Arthur. You've already done me a big favor today. Okay, Miss High and Mighty. And nice pants, by the way. Oh, shut up. Your pardon, Mrs. Adler. So, what do you think? What do you mean? About those two families. The rich ones in the big houses. I don't know. Go have a look around. See what you can find out. Calmly, I mean. Sure. Dutch and I, we both think there's money to be made. I hope so. <laughs> I'll see what I can find out. Hello, Mr. Morgan. You spoken a Dutch since you got back? Yes, Morgan. Air is cleared. We're moving on. You're lucky he made me come for you. Arthur. You going fishing? Yes. Or running off to Como Driscoll? Of course not. I was joking. <laughs> That's very funny. <laughs> yes, very, very funny. I saved your life, and now you torture me. Ho, ho. Shut up. Do you want to go fishing with me? I, I found an interesting spot. We'll do well. I'm not a great fisherman. But I am. <laughs> I'll teach you something. We come? Sure. All right, then. Grab your horse and let's go. Time to go, boy. Okay, follow me. I know a great little fishing spot along the beach. Who'd have thought it? Was 
wasn't that long ago I was tied to the back of your horse while begging for mercy. Now we're off fishing together. Uh, how do you know I ain't just looking for a good place to drown you? Because, because I saved your life, Arthur. Uh, you keep saying that. But I save your life every day I don't kill you. So we are more than even on that front. Come on, you don't mean that. You better believe I mean it. Now, where's this spot? Uh, not much further. Sure. This strip of shore looks perfect. Pick a spot. Seeing lots of bluegill and bass over here. Baiting with worms or crickets if you got them. Otherwise, maybe some bread or cheese. Many bites there, old Driscoll. I ain't an old Driscoll. I told you fellas a hundred times. I'd only been with them a couple of months. I was just a runner, helping out with the horses mainly. Bottom rung of the ladder. And to think that was the high point of your career. Comb goes through men like cigars. They ain't like you folks. You barely knew my name. I'm more Kieran Vanderlyn than Kieran O'Driscoll at this point. Honest to God. Mostly I'm. I'm Kieran Duffy. I hate to break it to you, but I ain't sure Kieran Vanderlint is gonna stick. There you go. Nice. Good catch, Arthur. Now see if you can hook another. So, you think Dutch trusts me now? <laughs> That's a good one. What? Not in the slightest, my friend. I can't win. I promised loyalty, he says, but you wasn't loyal to Comb. If I say I ain't got no allegiance to nobody, he says, how do I know you won't turn on us then? I don't know what you want to hear. I'm trying hard to feel sorry for you, but somehow I, I just can't manage to. What in the world? Arthur, are you seeing this? The feather's naked as a jaybird. Is that why you like this spot? My lord. There's somebody who needs to go to confession. Hey, watch the line! Oh, hey! I nearly got down a minnow. Sorry, fellas. Didn't see you there. Why don't you take a break? Come on in. The water's wonderful. You here for some fishing? We hope to. You haven't scared them all away, have you? Oh, just so you fellas know, there's some real big ones over that way, like this. Well, I better keep the blood pumping. Hope you gents catch something. Yeah? Maybe we'll take a look. Thanks. I know where that is. Oh, come on, let's go.
Come on, let's go. Hey, wait up! I think this is the place that naked fella was talking about. Did you see that amazing bluegill? Sure. That got you real excited, huh? Come on, Arthur. Let, let's walk down to the beach. I hope we land in this monster. Uh-huh. It ain't easy to catch a fish like that with bread and cheese, but uh, you never know. We might get lucky. Guess we'll see. So who taught you how to fish? My pappy, mostly. I, I lost my mammy and pappy when I was young to cholera. Your mammy? Like I said, I was real young. After that, I was on my own pretty much, but I knew horses and fishing. Well, uh, just think now you'll never be alone again. Putting up one hell of a fight. Not bad, but uh, it ain't the one we saw jump out of the water. See? Look at this. Life ain't so bad. At least you ain't tied to a tree. I'm still a prisoner, Arthur. I can't step outside camp by myself for a second without being terrified of one of Combs boys gonna come pick me up. When I'm in camp, I got Bill and Sadie whispering in my ear all the time how they're gonna kill me in my sleep. It's like living in a nightmare. Christ. If I'd known you were gonna moan this much, I'd have never have said yes to this. <laughs> Bet you got the big one there. Not sure, but he feels big. I don't think we have much chance. We need better bait. You might want to see if the stores around here sell anything better. I think I'm gonna head back to camp, Arthur, if that's okay. Sure. Go on, I'll see you later.
No, 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 please don't go, please don't go. <laughs> no. Uh, I don't want no part of whatever sick perversion you're engaging in down there. No, 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 wait, please. You've got to help me. It's that crazy gunsmith. He made me dress up like this. He's got me chained to the goddamn foot. Again, if you want to buy anything, now is the time. About to close. If it's a gun you're after, you'll want to take a look in the catalog and see what catches your eye. Been a mite suspicious about the new faces in town. Rhodes is welcoming, to be sure, but we can't just let all types have their way. Let me know what catches your eye. Fine choice. Much admired in these parts. Still looking? Okay. Hey, no customers over there. Relax, my friend. Never... Thanks, mister. I was at old McKinney's place this week. He raised another stage Don't keep me here any longer. Get what you want and go. The store's pretty self-explanatory. 
Feel free to browse goods and sundries on the shelves. There's a full range in the catalog right here. All right, but uh, if it has feathers or fur, keep it in the bag. Outdoor person, huh? Okay. This year stores my whole life. That's why I drink. There's a job from five miles of here. I don't know about it. I had it with this damn place. Yeah, well, you know. Seen what you're after? like that. And that should be good. Goodbye. Never gonna get the hang of this. When use, start picking out a box for yourself if you don't got that money, you owe Leopold Strauss. I, I don't. I, I, I need more time. Doesn't everybody? That casket for you, or you want another? Wait, 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 wait. I, I, I can get it for you. But, uh, well, uh, come with me to the churchyard and stay close. Hmm? All right. Oh, this ain't right. I, I mean, I I'll get you your money, but, uh, oh, well, you'll see. What ain't right is borrowing money you can't pay back. I, I guess, I guess, I guess you you're correct, but, uh, this, it, it ain't exactly right, what we're doing. You ain't the first to put his hand in the collection box, and you won't be the last. Rest a little easier knowing church has been taking more than they need off poor folks since time began. Well, like I say, well, the morality of the matter is a little more confusing than that. <sighs> Okay, you head on in the church, I'll keep watch. Well, it ain't in there. It's under here. I'm digging up Mrs. Claypole. Jesus! She got a bunch of tools in there that she don't need. Oh, damn it! 
There's a bunch of people here. Oh, I got it. I got it. Look, you clear them off, and I'll wait right around here. But don't hurt nobody. We don't want no fuss. Don't be shy. Ain't no one around. Just my aunt. You two might want to find somewhere a little more private. We was fine until you got here, mister. Good day now. Get out of here, kids. Move! Come on. I knew we shouldn't have been here. You missed your chance, boy! Ma'am, would you mind clearing out of here for some uh, maintenance work? Oh, gladly. It's about time this place got cleaned up. It's all clear. All right. Now go watch the gate. I'll get to this, uh... Exhumation. Okay. It's, uh, good of you to be doing it out of hours, I guess. I'll come back in the morning. things sure would hey look we're closed for some uh, excavation work would you mind no i ain't gonna mind you at all you carry on with your business we'll carry on with ours this fella oh damn choir boy get the hell out of this churchyard are you boys gonna need yourselves a preacher you hear this fella i heard him all right we're gonna lick you, bastard! <clears throat> Here's your payment. Oh, forgive me, Mrs. Claypole. What'd you find? Well, she had a brooch here. It looks like diamonds. Oh, well, this'll do. Now get out of here before someone sees you. I can't believe it's come to this. I think I should be alone, mister.
Of course, of course. Oh, and here is my dear friend, Arthur Callahan. Boy is a hunter. Boy is a killer. Arthur, you've met but not been introduced to Mr. Oh, I'm so sorry. Sheriff. Well, how are you doing, sir? I'm fine. Tough business you boys had. We did? Well, there's no need to pretend with me, sir. Life can be tough. So it can. And no man owes another anything. No, sir. But still, I feel you were hard done by. Losing your employment like that. But still, here in Rhodes, we have work enough for honest men. Oh, that's some strong stuff. Still, don't seem to be doing you any harm, I guess. Exactly. Whoa. Excuse me a moment. I told you we was moving up in this world. Deputies. You have finally <laughs> lost your mind. Amongst these drunkards, hillbillies, and slavers? Good honest thieves like us. We're bound to be moralizers in a place like this. Oh, Sheriff Gray, you are back. <laughs> now listen, sir. There is shine in them woods, though, and it is cost in this county its good name and the state a whole lot of income. You boys wouldn't mind rooting it out. Maybe we'll make you permanent. I gotta set me down a second. Not a problem, sir. Not a problem at all. You are in safe hands now. And people waste time with the temperance movement. Liquor never dulled a good man's senses. Arthur, you ride with the deputy. Bill and I will follow. Climb on up. Let's go. Yeah! Archibald. How are you? Pretty good. And your friend is behaving himself? Oh, uh, yes. Uh, I think he's learned his lesson. Congratulations on becoming a temporarily deputized citizen of Scarlet Meadows County. Most towns just get bounty hunters to do their dirty work these days, but Sheriff Gray believes the law should keep the law. Now, I'm sure I don't need to remind you there's a chain of command here. There is? Dang straight there is. This is a dangerous business, but follow my lead and you'll be just fine. Sure. Hey! Archibald wants to remind us he's in charge here. Of course. Who else would be? But you were a big help with them Anderson boys, and I put in a very good word with the sheriff on your behalf. We appreciate that. We rounded up the others soon after. I'm pushing for the rope myself, but that's by the by. So, these moonshiners. Not just any moonshiners. Braithwaite's. I told you about the Braithwaite's. Pretty sure you did. Old Cotton family had a fortune at one point until, well, a few changes in the labor laws. Now they're dealing in moonshine. We found their stills hidden all over Lemoyne. Quick as we destroy one, another one pops up. You could call it a pitiful fall from grace, if they had any grace to start with. I have no time for tax dodgers. Not to mention the fact that Catherine Braithwaite has a rather expensive interest in thoroughbred horses to maintain. But I heard something about it being gold these families were fighting over. Well, that's the rumor. But the Greys and the Braithwaites think the others stole a fortune from them. But it happened so long ago, I don't know for sure if it's true. Must be tough being rich, huh? <laughs> so I imagine. That bed rather suits you, Mr. W. Yes. I thought so, too. Does it feel good to be back at it, serving your country? I wouldn't go that far. Whoa. Whoa. Hold up. You see that wagon? I swear they got it in for me. You could try washing once in a while. Come on, mister. Keep your eyes open. No. 
This must have happened recently. Mm. Hey, come have a look at this. Look. Suit and tie. One bullet clean through the forehead. Well, my money says this is the handiwork of a gang called the Lemoyne Raiders. Yeah, I've run into them. Let's see if we've got any identification. Okay. We should get going. I'll send someone over here later to clean this up. Taking the reins. I want to have a look at these papers. Sure. I'll direct you. Okay. Frederick Mitchell, Lemoyne State Legislator. Poor fella. Yes, this certainly smacks of the Raiders to me. A bunch of ex-army free staters without an ounce of respect for the law. That's seven government officials they've murdered this year alone. Go right at the crossroads. Yep. Not the nicest fellers, in my experience. Oh, and I know the Braithwaites are in business with them. No shame. Trash begets trash, my Uncle Reginald used to say. They're right again here. He had a few stories, let me tell you. Town preacher and town sheriff. The drink a sailor under the table before breakfast. He had one tiny hand, like a child's, on the end of a grown man's arm. But anyway, this tells you what kind of people the Braithwaites are, selling moonshine to murderers. I tell folks don't even speak to him. Don't even look him in the eye. Here we are. So what was I saying? Something about the Braithwaites, I think. Even saying that word makes me sick. See? What did I tell you, boys? What did I say? I said this place was crawling with vermin, and we just found ourselves the rat's nest, our excellence, as they say in Paris. My aunt, she went to Paris back in 78. How handle this? Well, the way I said... Actually, let my friend here decide. He doesn't have your fine way with words, but he is definitely the man for the job. Let's split up. Arthur and Bill, me and Archibald. You boys want right or left? We'll take the left. Let's stop these filthy, degenerate tax dodgers. The cheek of them. A fine idea, Marcy. Remember what he said. We need them alive. Let's just knock them out and then tie them up. Got it, Deputy Williamson. See one by the bridge over there?
think that's it. Well, what do we do now? We better destroy all this. Any of your boys can handle explosives? Sure. Anyone but him. Oh, so. I think you're real funny, don't you? Tell me about these. <laughs> that is the last time I'll mention it, I swear. Yeah. Dutch and get out of here. Fine by me. Are we getting out of here then? <laughs> well, forgive me, but me and my men must return to our lives. Ah, 
Seems like we failed to destroy the last of the moonshine. Sure. Would you like us to? Well, I normally take it. For personal consumption, it's sort of part of the job. But I better get back home. Why don't I just take a jug or two and leave you boys the rest to show that there's no hard feelings on account of the war? We are all Americans. Of course. My cousin, Webster, he used to say some of us is not as American as others, if you know what I mean. Only I didn't, quite. Come on, you degenerate, no good, white trash, hillbilly piece of scum. I know you, Billy Lime. Finally. You've always been a Finally. piece of crap. Come on, move. We have a life right. on a land so stupid, a backwater so backwards that even we are like geniuses. <laughs> Bill, get this stuff out of here. Come on, you ride with me. Okay. Should I stash this somewhere near Camp Bog? Yes, show it to Hosea. I'm sure he can find a use for it. Bit of trouble back there, Arthur? Ain't there always. From what they was yelling, I think they were the buyers. Old Archibald didn't ask too many questions, so neither should we. I ain't planning to. That was worth the effort, though. Deputized and hiding in plain sight. These lawmen. These two families. I mean, I really think we can play this from all sides. It's got Hosea written all over it. This is starting to sound like the Young Dutch again. What do you mean, Young Dutch? I'm as strong as I have ever been. Hey, you know what? Why don't I race you back? Okay, you're on. That's the spirit. Okay, on my word. Set, go! so good at running away, Arthur. Well, I never knew age had slowed you down quite so much. Uh, well, time is a bastard. When you get to be my age, well, you'll know that better than anything. Be well. I had fun with you today. You're... I was gonna say you're like a son to me. But you're more than that. 